well, you know, sure, you've been riding for three yeah, years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, at that point, now, how long from that point to the point where you could support yourself? Uh, about three, three years. So it wasn't when I turned like 24, 25. I, and was grandpappy uh, with you along the way? I mean, did he think it was a good idea? Did other family members try to talk you out of it? Everybody tried to talk me out of it. Yeah. And, and until my mom actually saw me uh, like turn a crowd around and it was like this redneck crowd outside of uh, uh, up, up outside of Sonoma. Mm-hmm. And they hated me, and then People I made them rednecks. like me. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I made them like me, and and she was like, "Wow, you can actually do this." Well, you don't do comedy on Punch a Jew Day out there. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> some some would mistake you for one, Brian. <laughs> so, um, you, your mom sees you turn the crowd around. She signs off on the comedy. You basically hit the road, and you start supporting yourself relatively mm-hmm. early. And then, what's the next step or the big break? Well, there was a couple of missteps. Like, I broke my back and had to move back in with her. and uh, But I was still serious about it, and she got that and was supportive. And then moving to San Francisco was probably the best thing that ever happened to me because I just met funnier people. Mm-hmm. I met people that were really driven and, and super smart. And How'd super you break funny your and, back? Uh, being drunk and dumb, jumped off a lifeguard tower uh, <laughs> down in <at> Long Beach. <laughs> it is great when your guy... <laughs> <clears throat> when you're a guy and you're drunk, jumping off of stuff seems like an awesome idea. Yeah. And girls get drunk. They don't get it. But they don't have the jump off of stuff, Gene. Yeah, we calling our ex would be a good idea. Right. Yeah, you'll do that kind of Crying. stuff. But guys, guys will <laughs> get you ass. Guys will get drunk and just start looking up. Like, what? <laughs> Hey, man, look at that roof. No, we were on top of it. We were drinking on top of it, and they all jumped off when we finished our backpack full of beer. Yeah. uh, It's a horrible plan where you go, let's get that 12-pack and go to the dam. Because it's... Listen, we jumped... We jumped off the roof of the Mulholland Club, which is oh, which is three stories, and you got to run to make the pool because the pool's a good fourteen feet from the building. And somebody got married. My friend Michelle got married there fifteen years later, and my buddy Ray still got drunk, still got nude, still went to the roof, <laughs> and still jumped off past all the horrified still guests. Didn't die. Now is this pool. the type of thing where you land and then you can't really move? Uh, well, I was so drunk and so full of other stuff, uh, and, and I knew it was bad as soon as I hit, but I walked home and then got in a bathtub full of Epsom salts because that's what drunkie thought my mom would do. <laughs> <laughs> Drunkie's like, what would mom do if she was here? Right. Oh, fill a tub full of Epsom salts. And I got inside that and, uh, it paralyzed me and I was <gasps> paralyzed for 10 days. So wow. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I thought Epsom salts were good, too. No. Could you imagine, uh, you want to talk about a hellish detail. Posein is paralyzed oh, no. in the tub. Someone's got to get out. Oh, no. yeah. I was uh, wearing sweats, though. I got. I, I did wearing, my friends oh, a favor. Really? I got in wearing yeah. sweatpants. I'd be like, okay, do we have a gantry crane here? What's that thing they use to move uh, manatees, like when they get wounded in the river? Like, we need some sort of harness and a daisy picker here, Jaws cherry picker, and something pneumatic with a pump on it. I, I mean, wasn't as fat back then, but, but still, I was you're as a lot, lanky. you're a lot of man. I mean, just the idea of removing yeah. you from a bathtub. That was a good 60 pounds left. Lighter, but I, I, I don't even like, see how you get in you know a tub what? with legs that long. We got to rip the entire tub out, take uh, off the right side of the house, and just crane them out like a Geraldo episode. Right. So you, you know, um, we probably have a guy that we both know named Donna Carey. Uh huh. He broke his <gasps> back, drunk, jump, jumping off a wall. But, but he, he was a kid. I didn't know that. No, no. As an adult, oh. I mean, kid, adult. You know, twenty three, whatever. Oh, yeah, that's what. But I he's know. just another guy I know who broke his back, drunk, jumping off a wall. Except for the problem is, is it was Halloween. And I do believe he was dressed as Dorothy. Oh, no. <laughs> Going to the emergency room, you know, Drag. with pigtails and ruby slippers and <laughs> <laughs> writhing in pain. Gang. Definitely not a Jew. <laughs> not a great. <laughs> your lipstick is smeared. <laughs> yeah. They've I mean, got to cut the gingham dress to get to your yeah. bone that's broken. You're screaming for Toto. <laughs> yeah, Donick broke his back wow. drunk, jumping off something. I... 
I mean, really, there should be a PSA. There's so many drunken teenage boys jumping yeah. off of stuff. Hi, I'm Brian Pussain. You know, I learned firsthand that uh, booze and gravity aren't great friends. <laughs> the last thing I remember was saying, hey, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> it probably was. A lot of guys' final words were, hey, watch this. Yeah, yeah. I, uh... I uh, when I when we were jumping off the Mulholland Club into the uh, swimming pool that was good good fifteen feet from the from the edge of the roof, naked standing on the roof at two in the morning, drunk. I remember giving the drunken speech. <laughs> I gave the hey, we're all drunk. Let's not hit the pavement and end up in a wheelchair. As I was giving. That speech, my buddy Todd was flying past me, <laughs> right. new jumping off <laughs> of the course. things, and then everyone went well after the speech, and everyone just jumped off the uh, end of the thing, and no one died. No, look at us, we're all in one piece. Oh, Brian Brook is back and was paralyzed him. for ten days. Though. You should remember that. <laughs> yeah, so paralyzed. More dangerous for tall guys, by the way, yeah, especially oh, yeah. diving. Uh huh. Yeah. So you you did you? How do you technically break your back? I landed on my butt and it broke my oh. spine. It was a compressed fracture and, and it sent like uh, parts of my spine into my spinal column, which is what <gasps> pr paralyzed me eventually right. once, when it swelled up when I got in hot water. So then you get out of the hospital and you're sort of on your back for the next six months? Uh, in the hospital for three months and then three months and then rehabbing at my mom's before I could really get around much another couple of surgeries? months. surgeries what no wearing just like a big like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shell, like a giant <laughs> shell. I have this big plastic. <laughs> for laughing. It's like, kind of amazing that you weren't permanently paralyzed considering that you got uh, yeah. in the hot bath. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It just went away. The paralysis went away like after 10 days and everything kind of came back. And Three and, uh, months in the hospital is a stint. I yeah, mean, and then no surgery because they said surgery would actually put me in a chair. Right, because they would have to weld my, uh, you know, my spine together, and when they did that, I wouldn't walk again. So, so it's like, well, let's not do that. They said he would never take the stage again. <laughs> That's on true. Two size something. seventeen. No, and heads. it sounds cheesy, but I just sat there thinking, I got to get the first thing I got to do is get back on stage. Like, yeah. Now so that comedy. I can still stand, you know. Healed by comedy. And I got serious about it. Brian Posehn, a true success so story <laughs> tonight. Yeah, the roof of the lifeguard tower. The lifeguard tower, the steps got to be a good eight feet above the thing. The roof's uh, it's twenty-five something feet from the top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. The sand does beckon though, because it's yeah. like, it's hey, oh, it's sand. Soft. It's yeah, not the, soft at that speed and from that height. The first inch and a half is soft, but eventually <laughs> turns into yeah. into, into the earth. Pavement. Brian Posehn, Hollywood uh, Improv. Hey, I know man, you're <clears> funny. Water does that, too. Come on, I'm so soft and cuddly. Come on, jump off the roof <laughs> yeah, yeah, into me. Yeah. Brian Bush saying, Hollywood Improv, to 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 Hollywood